I remember a New York Times writer that once wrote that uh, for him growing up in New York City, the Hudson River was where the streets end. The river and the harbor were just the blue parts of the subway map. Except for the people in the Bronx, everybody in New York is an islander. It's a city of, of water and a city of islands. The city owes its existence and its wealth to the fact that it's on this river and part of this harbor. It is not something that I think the general New Yorker is conscious of on a day-by-day -day basis. I grew up on the Hudson River. My mother took me down to the beach in Irvington when I was four, when we moved up from the Bronx. And it took until working for Riverkeeper in 2000 for me to start to really appreciate the volume of life that these, this river is, that it's a wilderness that runs right through the heart of our communities. It's no different than the Serengeti or the Brooks Range in Alaska. It's a tremendous wilderness. And these migratory fish that run up and down the Hudson every spring and fall are like the antelope that cross the Great Plains in Africa. It's a powerful, powerful force, the life in this river. So River Keepers enabled me to appreciate that. And in appreciating it, I realized that I had to fight for it. The challenge for us and the community is to get a greater number of New Yorkers to care about the harbor. Thank you.